Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the mid-month love reading for all zodiac signs. I do want to apologize. I know I'm a little bit behind. You guys, please be patient. I am so sorry, but I am so bombarded. And it's just me that does all my spell work, all my private readings. You know, it's just, I am so thankful and blessed, humbled. Um, my grow, my grow, <laughs> my channel continuously keeps growing and I am so very blessed, very thankful for each and every single one of you that watches my videos. Um, so again, thank you guys very much. I will be uploading on Friday. Not sure if Wednesday or Friday, I will be uploading another spell work uh, video for you guys. Um, so anyways, if you're interested in private consultations, definitely look at the description box below. Uh, for those of you guys who have came to me for spell work, uh, candle magic, um, uh, private consultations, I thank you guys very, very much. You guys are just amazing thank you guys for those of you guys who have sent me you know letters and your kind words uh through email i appreciate it everything thank you guys very much um so anyways i am excited and thrilled that you guys are quickly getting results uh makes me completely just humbled and thankful so thank you guys okay anyways let's get into the reading congratulations again leos you guys are in the second up uh in regards to the most views so kudos to you guys which is why you guys are uh being the second video that i upload okay so i wanted to let you guys know definitely don't forget to like share and subscribe if you haven't commented also comment on my videos and i have been already shuffling the cards for you guys so two cards already popped out i'm going to be pulling out four cards for you leo and then four cards for the person you're dealing with or the person you're in contact with in regards to love and romance and then the current situation okay so let's get into this reading let's see what spirit has for you guys for the mid month of november 2017 leos leos okay here we go so wow beautiful cards okay so you have one card that popped out the first card was the nine of swords then the lovers card popped out the strength card, strength card, wow. The Empress card. Okay, your partner's cards, the Tower, Temperance, the Eight of Swords, the Ace of Wands, and current situation. Give me current situation for Leo's. Love. For the mid month of November 2017. Okay, here we go. Okay. So current situation in regards to your love and romance, Leos, you guys have the Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups is a very funny card to me um, because it symbolizes everything of blessings and then we are so oblivious to it. So it's almost kind of like, um, I don't know what the word is. It's just, it's a funny card, <laughs> literally. When I see it, it's almost like, okay, you guys are just not seeing the blessings, people. <laughs> so anyways... As a current situation, for those of you guys that are currently in a relationship, your relationship is at the present time either becoming stale or being a little bit stuck. There is one or the other that's not feeling the love or not feeling the appreciation or not feeling uh, basically one or one partner or the other is definitely putting too much effort in the relationship. Uh, and the other one's lacking interest. So the four of wands, uh, four of wands, I keep saying four of wands, it's a four of cups, sorry. Uh, but the four of cups definitely represents uh, boredom for some. So it could be that your partner is currently not working or it could represent you that you're not working and that's the reason why. And it could be working, you guys don't take it as like business and finances. It could be just working towards the relationship. They're just bored and they're not wanting to put effort because they feel that you're not putting effort. So it could be one or the other. For those of you guys that are single at the present time, the Four of Cups represents offers being given, people coming in, letting you know they're interested and you're just not interested. It could be that there's no physical connection, physical uh, chemistry. It could be that they're just not deep enough for you guys. Whatever it is, it's like you're just not having it. You're not wanting to deal um, if you're not that you know, if the, if the spark is not that ignited there at the present time. Now, for the cards that represent you, Leo, you have the Nine of Swords. So the Nine of Swords is being very anxious, uh, very worried concerning your love life at the present time, as you do have the lovers right next to it. So 
for the middle of the month going into December, you're definitely thinking a lot about relationships or thinking if a relationship, in fact, uh, could damage you at the present time. So what I mean by damaging, I mean in the sense of if you guys have recently been working really hard towards a project, uh, towards your business, if you own your own business or you run your own business, if you're an entrepreneur, uh, if you currently started a new bit, uh, sorry, a new job and you're putting so much effort and it's like there's extra hours, you know, that you have to put in um, and perhaps, you know, you get those moments where you feel like, oh, I want to be you know, hugged, I want to be cared for, and you put yourself out there in the dating scene, and you don't really connect on a deep level, but you do give opportunities to people. Again, the four of cups here can represent you giving the opportunity to people, not because you're interested, but because you're bored. So, um, you know, and then you get into this, you know, the weekly hassle of having to work, having to deal with everyday type of things. And you get to a point where you wonder or start to wonder, you know, if they are in fact complementing your life or if they're just making it difficult. I feel that for a lot of you guys, there's major transformations happening as you do for the cards that represent you, Leo, you have three major arcana. So that's very major. What that represents is that it's not an right now what's happening with you guys in in regards to love and romance it's not so much of the ordinary uh, what i mean by that is it ba basically to the point is everything that's happening you know that not connecting with people that feeling like all right i'm just gonna you know text them because i'm bored but then when you're busy or you're out or you're working you really don't give a shit when they text you and you're very late on texting and it's not anything to do don't feel at any moment that you're being ungrateful or don't feel at any moment that you're just you know asking too much because you're not what's happening is on a grander scale so what i mean by that is universe has a lot to do with it with this at the present time it's like it's correlating and it's moving everything the way it's supposed to go in order to set you on the path that you're supposed to go or walk on or journey through so you do have the lover's card there's an opportunity for love and romance for you guys you do have the strength card here the strength card symbolizes leo the leo card but it can also represent going through difficulties in regards to love and romance for those of you guys that have been single for a while maybe you came out of a very long-term committed relationship and it was nothing but anxiety struggles even the lack of confidence in yourself or you know if they were psychologically abusing of you uh, it's almost like you were tainted for a while and finally you're starting to be you know feel it you're starting to love yourself and cherish yourself and know your worth you know exactly what you're bringing to the table which is why you're not pain or putting effort into those people that you know you don't see yourself being long term and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that you do have the empress here and the empress definitely it's right under the ace of wands so what that represents is there is opportunity for love and romance coming in for you guys by the end of november first week of december now i do want to mention for some of you guys there's going to be a gemini coming into your life a gemini um you know a lot of the times Geminis have a bad reputation uh, it has a lot to do with their moon sun and rising as well but Geminis you know unlike Leos uh, I know Leos I, I'm, I love my Leos but you know sometimes you guys lack a little bit of spontaneity and Geminis could definitely bring that in they could spark that you know if you guys haven't clicked with someone that really you know really shakes you guys uh that's perhaps the passion that you're looking for and i definitely do see that coming in for you guys again like i said i want to say all the way to the middle of december because the empress is definitely giving me here let me show you usually it represents summer but it's giving me the vibe of you know this white right here so it could be all the way to the middle of december when this person decides to show up or reveal to you that they're definitely interested the empress definitely represents as well in regards to business and finances you guys are going to be um again like i said long hours a lot of possibilities for overtime if you guys work for um you know on commission there's definitely possibilities of making great money that's going to be flowing into you guys in your life so that's definitely again like i said keep this in mind in life everything is about balance okay so what i mean by that is don't ever feel like if you put effort into getting someone to or getting to know someone your company your business or where you work at is going to be hurting 
because you're not going to be as committed or putting as much effort as you should. Don't ever feel that way. It's all about balance in life and it's learning how to maneuver through it, okay? So don't ever feel that a person, I mean, unless that person really is clingy and really taking on your your time, um, which I know Leos have no problem with that because you guys could be a little bit, uh, you know, smothering time <laughs> when really interested in someone. But again, like I said, I definitely do see a lot of movement uh, for you guys in regards to uh, business and love. I do feel that for some of you guys, you guys are going to have to make a choice. It could be a choice whether to give the opportunity to a person that is coming into your life or it could be a choice in regards to business and finances. I know this is a love reading, but a lot of the times I do pick up, you know, messages from pretty much every single aspect of your life. So I hope that makes sense. Anyways, moving on. How your partner is viewing the, the situation or how they view you at the present time. They see the tower. The tower here is definitely something, a shakeup. Something's happening to your partner or a person that you were dealing with from the past because temperance is here and the temperance does speak about the past because it is timing or it could be perfect timing or timing that you're unaware of. Please understand time is fluid. So um, the tower definitely represents some, a shakeup, something that's going to happen or has already happened. For some of you guys, it could have been a breakup. For others of you, it could be that you find out, um, in fact, that your partner was stepping out of the relationship because there is the strength card and the empress. The strength card is obviously a woman, so it could represent two women um, in, in a general sense. So again, uh, it could be that they're stepping out. Please know when I say women, it could be both male or female. It is a general reading. Um, but the tower can also represent uh, them having very, very major anxiety or having to deal with depression, having to deal with, uh, for some that, you know, recently had a child, could be postpartum depression, that type of energy. The temperance here right under the lovers is having to make a choice based on if you guys, you know, could come together meet on common ground um and move forward or if you need to just walk out of that relationship that is no longer serving you you have the eight of swords here so the eight of swords does represent them feeling stuck feeling like they don't know whether to, they should move forward or whether they know that or whether uh they should you know try the best to i i guess almost save I feel that for some of you Leos, you guys are dealing with a person from the past that is clinging on to this relationship or to you for dear life. So what I mean by that, it could be that this was a person that was, uh, for some of you guys, it could have been a person that was very, um, very non-committed, okay? A person that definitely stepped out of the relationship. And I feel that, I guess they kind of always depended or assumed that you would be there. Um, the tower is is something drastic. So there is definitely something that's going to be manifesting throughout the middle of the month all the way to December where they're going to have to make a choice uh, whether to move forward or whether to release that and move on. So what I mean by that, it could be for those of you guys that are single at the present time, it could represent a per it can also represent a Sagittarius because the temperance card is here. Um, but it definitely represents the tower. I feel that it it's already happening or it already happened for them. It could have been that the person that's coming into your life is coming out of a relationship um, that was very, very toxic. And, you know, it, coming out, I could mean they've been single for a year or over two years. OK, but it coming out, meaning in the sense of emotional, they're finally detaching themselves from that relationship and finding balance and not feeling stuck in this relationship no longer and they're seeking to start something new or you know quote unquote they're ready to take it to the next level or they're ready to put themselves out there in the dating scene now the ace of wands is here so there is definitely a new beginning coming in a new beginning in regards to love and romance for them how they perceive you and how they're seeing you the ace of wands is coming so the ace of wands is always the beginning of a new passion the beginning of a connection the beginning of communication coming through so for a lot of you guys now for those of you guys that have been uh, married or are married and a serious monogamous relationship i feel that there was some type of emergency for some of you guys it could have been a relative that got sick for others it could have been your partner that actually went through surgery 
or something drastic, something that had to change your lifestyle. Um, but with the lovers and the temperance, the love and the support for one another is definitely or has definitely been there. And you're finally to move. You're finally uh, ready to move forward, um, releasing any feeling of, you know, stuckness feeling of it could, it could also represent uh, being overwhelmed with bills again for those of you guys that are particularly dealing with a partner that recently went through surgery but you're finally being able to move forward into a new beginning where there's blessings many blessings coming your way that you still are unaware of as you do have the emperors here and the ace of wands okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this reading like share and comment if you haven't subscribed to my channel definitely subscribe and we will see each other soon